Smile to Jannah! We start Smile to Jannah exclusive. Ah, hey, Gambia. Yeah. You see, religion's been pure from the beginning. And mercy to mankind, show purpose in living. We was walking around blind, state of ignorance. Allah blessed us with his knowledge and intelligence. I saw my hardships, complained about pain and sorrow. And then I traveled a bit, supporting people of tomorrow. Build an orphanage, a mastery, watch the bricks pile. It's more than food and water, this is a lifestyle. Spot, my brother Abu Bakr. We was in the West End clubbing, now we're in the coast of Gambia. <laughs> Freestyle, freestyle, yeah. Yeah. Salam alaikum. This is the first time I'm going Gambia, yeah. And it's because, mashallah, all of you guys uh, donated the five thousand pounds. Abu Bakr was like, "Let's go Gambia, mate." And I was like, "All right, let's go Gambia." There you go, guys. I'm just on my way to uh, departures. I'm gonna be a rebel and walk on these. You see, look at these mugs. They're standing here. Yes. Hey, brother Muslim, hello. Yeah, can't wait to be there, man. <laughs> Gambia, bad on the smiling coast world, bro. We're gonna see these orphans. We're smiling now. Smile to Jannah is when we're smiling. We're trying to put a smile on those orphans' faces. Yeah, sure, All right, guys. I'm on the aircraft and I met a really nice guy. He goes by the name of Michael Gambon, and uh, he's gonna tell you guys a bit about his experience in Gambia. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Not really Michael Campbell, my name's Tony. <laughs> regular visitor, well, fairly regular visitor to Gambia. Um, beautiful country, beautiful people, good food, good music, and the weather is amazing. <laughs> What's not to like? Michael Gambon's telling you to go Gambia, yeah, so do you understand? Like, what are you doing? Hey, little guys, hey. <laughs> That's how not to sleep on the plane. Gambia guys Welcome to Gambia guys, here it is Basically yeah, we're with Abu Bakr yeah, we just landed Stress <laughs> Politics, organizing all these people yeah so what's, these, what's these shanty in Africa though? <laughs> Abu Bakr has got some good stuff planned. So if this vlog is rubbish, then just blame Abu Bakr, isn't it? <laughs> so bro, were you expecting from Gambia, yeah? I'm ex expecting a very humbling experience. I'm expecting to play with some very beautiful children. And we're over here with our brother supporting him, obviously, on the spot project, supporting the people of tomorrow. Excited to be here. You know, anyone that follows me knows that I'm originally from Uganda. So I'm from the east coast of Africa, but we're here today in the west coast. Uh, the smiling coast as they call it. Mannequin challenge, mannequin challenge. Perfume toilet paper, did you? <laughs> Not playing around with the toilet paper. Got brother Musa there. Yeah, we're here doing a bit of shopping, man. We're trying right. to make it happen, man. What's with the trolley, though, bro? Uh, it is what it is, man. man. Man's big man, but sometimes you have to get a small thing. <laughs> Just make it work. <laughs> there you go guys. Just on our way to Fajr. Just looking for where the masjid is. It's very peaceful in the morning. Chula, let's see if we can find out. This is just after Fajr time. We're just uh, on our way to see if we can get a bit more of the sunrise. Yeah, okay. On the beach, and this yeah. brother is clearly very helpful. Yeah. yeah. One minute deadline. He's not going to be down one minute, is he? No. Nature is non-discriminatory, which means it doesn't discriminate based on your color or your culture or your tribe. Nature is the same for everyone, and you know what? I think we should take a lesson from nature as well, because.
Assalamu alaikum, you okay? Assalamu alaikum, you okay? Assalamu alaikum, young man. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Zishan! Zishan! Say hi, brother Zishan! No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Everyone down! Seven! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! So guys, it's a race. The winners of this race will get a hat. So, let's see. Every child understands the universal concept of fun. Every kid loves having fun and playing games. So what they're doing is they're handing out hats, but it's not like freebie stuff. Yeah, the children have to earn it. Whether they're winning in a race, or whether they win in a resilience test. But either way, they feel like they've achieved it, and inshallah they'll value it more. There you go. No, 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 you guys are. That's why. In Allah, can I lay cum rapiba? What are you at a ma am well a hum? What are وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا أَمْوَالَهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَمْوَالِكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ حُوبًا كَبِيرًا MashaAllah, we're leaving now. We uh, need to pray Jumu'ah. There's a few other brothers coming as well. That's why we have to leave. Some of the brothers bought some stuff. They just handed it out. And MashaAllah, they're very appreciative and of course, much love and appreciation for the teachers here who work very hard in the grueling sun and with very little resources mashallah so it's very humbling experience obviously teachers uh, in the uk you know we still have resources and yet we struggle but here the teachers have very little but mashallah you see they're very sincere they're very humble and mashallah you know very welcoming as well so inshallah remember them in your duas and uh, you know what it's a great honor to meet such selfless people who have dedicated their lives to uh, teaching we, we are poor but we, are, we believe in Allah because God said in the Quran every pain has a relief and every pain has a relief of course we're living in hard times but uh, just standing here I was just looking at these rocks and the Atlantic Ocean and uh, clearly these rocks are in a minority compared to the sea but you see constantly, constantly the sea keeps coming on the rocks, keeps slamming against the rocks but as long as the rocks are steadfast it doesn't matter how many times the sea tries to bully these rocks they will stand firm and the sea after smashing into the rocks has to return humble but constantly the attacks are coming but these rocks are standing firm and look at the sea retreating I feel the Ummah and of course I speak to myself before I speak to you we get weak sometimes we don't understand that if we weaken, when we break off from these rocks, which is like the Ummah, 
and then we get lost at sea. And someone that's standing here can't see any of these rocks because they just get buried within the weight of the ocean. Conference just happening at this masjid. Just on my way out. My brother's taking me to get some water. It's been a long day, several speeches and lectures. But uh, yeah, gotta have some water, mate. But uh, as we're going down, here's the route. So we just finished the event and I bumped into this brother. What's your name? Hassan. Hassan. And he sees Smile to Jannah in Gambia as well. Right. What do you think? I think it's great. Yeah? It's quite entertaining and Masha. educated. I'm surprised that it's spreading here as well. MashaAllah. Um, I think you have a lot of subscribers here. Really? Yes. In Gambia? Yes. So we're just here after Fajr, grabbing some breakfast and we're just getting some omelette with this street vendor. This is literally all he has, this desk. And uh, he's got the little fire burning at the bottom. I'm here with Brother Naeem. <laughs> and uh, we're just grabbing some food. Uh, compared to where we, we were going to go before, the other place was uh, quite expensive. We were going to get the full English, which is very expensive. But we thought, why not try the local cuisine and uh, Brother Naeem's idea, he spotted the baguettes, speaking a bit of French, he lured him in. Now we're getting some uh, good grub. <laughs> moi je prends, moi je prends mayonnaise, lui il prend uh, ketchup. And mayonnaise as well? Bonjour, bonjour. We're just on our way to the masjid now. You can uh, look at the area, very sandy, very desolate, very quiet. And uh, there's no Muslim school or masjid in this area. So, uh, mashallah, that's what Spot is doing. It's making the first. Well, it's starting off with the masjid first. And then after the masjid is done, then we're going to move on to building the school. But, um, mashallah, army of brothers. So here's the gate, guys. Mashallah. There you go. So this is your money, isn't it? This is where your money has, has been put. And then let's go see what you guys have contributed towards. The brother's working hard in the scorching heat. It is absolutely boiling. But mashallah, you can see a good piece of land here and then uh, projects done very well since it started and what you guys have to understand is Smile to Jannah we contributed at a time where the project was you know either side we weren't sure if we we're gonna start it but mashallah because of your contribution and the contribution of other brothers Mashallah, it's it started and there you go. Aki, explain to the people what you're doing. We're just laying down the foundations of the masjid. Mashallah. And uh, even if we get to uh, do one brick, mashallah, just one brick the masjid is dead. Right from, from, mashallah. Give me light, make me strong. I know the road. Overflow it to the top. Pat it down. And scrape it off. You know, you're a professional, bruv. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Technique. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Sabbatakallah. guys here's the land bird's eye view off the top we're just on the first floor here's a little 360 for you lot mashallah hard work going on you know when you run out of resources you have to be resourceful use some of the kids here make them part of the masjid to get some reward i know many of you are probably waiting for an update 
regards to the money that we raised via that via Smart Agenda. Alhamdulillah, we're at our land now. Spot Academy, as you can see, mashallah, the land is very vast since our donations has come to us. Alhamdulillah, we've put a new water tank up there, as you can see, and we've got a solar system. Now we've got clean running water. With the permission of Allah, we're able now to go to the next stage of the masjid where we're going to build the next floor where you can see brother Muslim Bilal and other brothers up there. Also, just the other day, they finished the stairs because for upstairs, that's going to be for the girls and downstairs is going to be for the boys. And next to it, we're going to build a wudu area and a temporary um, showers for the children. And over there, where you can see, that's the watchman's house at the moment. We're going to destroy that and build an outso outdoor kitchen. Once we do that in the next few months, with the permission of Allah, we can open the school. And if we raise more money, then we can continue with the building. Also, quickly, maybe you want to know what we plan to do over here is where we're going to build the actual main school building. But when we first open the school temporary, the kids will be learning in the masjid. Then over there, we want to put a swimming pool and right at the back, a football pitch. And on the left-hand side, a playground. And over there, where you see that temporary toilet, the silver one over there, <laughs> that is going to be the sleeping areas for the kids. For me, I know it's a lot of people who build schools. The schools have a particular look, you know. This green and white or blue and white and the buildings look a certain way. As you can see, the construction of the massive alone is going to be completely different. We're going to be using a lot of glass. And the architects that we used, we made sure the school is designed in a way that if someone from the West walked into our land, they'll feel like they're in a school in the UK. And that's important for us. You know, when I was doing the land, some brother said to me, why am I not, why am I putting a swimming pool? I'm like, bro, wouldn't <laughs> you, as a child, want a swimming pool in your school? You know, so we're trying to give these orphans something that they never had, you know. We're trying to give them the best with the permission of Allah. And we'd like to thank all the viewers who have donated to the organisation. I hope this can be an inspiration for you to donate more. We ask Allah SWT to reward all of you lot, whether you donated a pound, whether you donated a thousand pound. The reward is with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I've already released a video telling you how touched I was with, you know, the trust that you guys put in. And, you know, Africa is dear to all our hearts. And, you know, to come here, because another brother was asking, you know, why did you come here? I mean, the thing is, we've seen Africa in the media and, you know, everything is stereotyped. I wanted to come here, see for myself and, you know, <laughs> do things myself as well. You know, use my hands, do, you know, at least so on the Day of Judgment, Allah can say, okay, you saw the people suffering, what did you do? Ya Allah, I used whatever little followers that I had and uh, we donated and Ya Allah, I came here myself and... Uh, you know, I laid a brick in the masjid. I made a child smile. So, you know, this is a, it's a very wonderful opportunity. And you know, it's humbled me a lot. It's humbled me a lot. I'm not going to lie. Seeing is believing to some degree. And you know what? When you come and you see, it, it touches your heart. It's very difficult that if it wouldn't touch your heart. So this is a school which has been opened by a Christian lady uh, from Norway. This is a school near the one that obviously we're supporting with Spot. But uh, this school, there's no uh, Islamic education in there. But just look at the quality. The children have two, three uniform changes. They've got facilities. They've got free meals. And the school, you know, mashallah, looks great. But inshallah, we aim to make our one even more better with Islamic education as well. As we can see, there's some children, <laughs> children here in the school enjoying the atmosphere <laughs> he's really enjoying himself i think this is his break time we got it made comfortable chairs and tables and mashallah we still complain but look at these kids sitting on metal stools and this is this is a good school as well so uh mashallah you know what it's it's very nice coming here and having a little look around and well, it humbles you, isn't it? That's, that's the bottom line, because unless you see places like this, you're not going to value what you have. There's like some workshops going on here. You've got some football here. You've got some recitation. You've got some boxing practice. <laughs> it's lively, it's lively. You like? <laughs> no matter where you go, 
sweets works for every child. Every child, mashallah, likes sweets. <laughs> you like sweet, yeah? You like sweet, yeah? You like sweet. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له You like with like this or like this? Like with the hat? Okay, put it on. Hey, brother Sushan has nice hair. Huh? <laughs> you, I, I do it back. I do it back. <laughs> I think that's a yes, 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 like this look, yeah, like this, you like, it's like lady, on our Jumma prayers after the meal at the school this morning I think we're all and it's fair to say I think we're all in a severe state of humility after seeing exactly what the young people have here in comparison to our lives at home a complete dunya back at home in comparison to this this is it guys the last day uh, it's been an excellent trip here to the Gambia with the SPOT project. You know, we've had so much benefits and so much, you know, great examples of what hard work and dedication and discipline can do. It's been good here in Gambia, the Gambia, and we've learned a lot. Well, I would encourage any one of you out there to come out here with SPOT and visit the Gambia and see the great work that is happening on, that's happening on the ground here. Uh, we've had such a good time, you know, um, the best part was going to see the, the, the children in the orphanages, um, going to see the land, to see where kind of the money, where all the money went that you guys have been donating, which is really nice. Alhamdulillah, um, what we've seen out here is, uh, has moved me dramatically. I've seen, I've seen poor conditions, but I've not seen, I've not seen the things I've seen out here, so inshallah this is going to be a project that I'm going to work with for the next few years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and going back with a new mentality of, of kind of appreciate, appreciation and um, gratefulness. And I've realised that obviously the small things in the UK over, over here in Gambia could probably save a life. Another thing that these guys have put on for all ages, they all have put on for Kurz die Zusammenfassung hier für das Sichern, was er nicht hat gewusst, dass ich jetzt auch Schweizerdeutsch mache und da kein Wort davor versteht. Das kann ich auch nicht von Amsterdam. Wo ist das? Und die Beach ist schön. Die Gambia ist nass. Don't let them fool you. Make you feel like Afrika is dead. Like it's not like that. Gratitude. Humble. Appreciation. These are three key elements of what I have found from my trip to Gambia. I recommend you to go and see what the, the guys from SPOT team are doing. They're good, doing good work. Uh, the, the people you are meeting, um, take something with you for your life. But when I had this opportunity to take it upon myself to hand deliver a 100% donation policy to an orphanage, 
where most of the kids there have no father and no mother to look after them. Rather, I took this opportunity as quickly as I could so that I could play my part back in this world. So guys, what have I learned? I've learned number one that the people, mashallah, despite being given supposedly less, are able to become resourceful and make the most of it. Here's a smiling coast. They're smiling, which obviously proves the fact that you don't need money to be happy. Number two, I noticed with the orphans were, yes, money is one thing, but just a bit of attention, a bit of love, you know, just playing games with them, you know, stroking their heads, mashallah. You know, little, little things do make a, a large difference and it makes them open up to you and feel valued as well, just like any other human being. And also, I would suggest and recommend that you guys come to places like this. It really does humble you and at least on the day of judgment, when Allah says, you know, you saw these people suffer through whatever means, what did you do? And you know what? The flights are very cheap and it's good to come even if it is through holidays and then you can take a little uh, diversion and visit these orphanages and you know spend some time there. You know every little helps. Every little helps. I know I'm waiting, waiting for something, something to happen to me. This waiting comes with trials and challenges Nothing in life is free My Lord, show me right from Smile, dude, get yeah. yeah.